What up, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra. I want to apologize ahead of time. My uh, Patreon videos this month are not going to be very entertaining as, well, the majority of pretty much all of my Patreon money is going into getting my account out of the negative. And, well, it's frustrating because it's not how I originally planned it. Oh, man. Can you do six push-ups? A $6.66 donation from Austin. Yeah, I can do that. These are all Cash App shout-outs. Uh, I do appreciate Alex Campbell bringing over some alcohol earlier. Like, I got to a point where I was content with my alcohol, and then I passed out. Alex Campbell left after I passed out, and freaking, yeah. So. Any money I've been making as of today, I've just been putting um, back into my bank account. My bank account's been in the negative, and as I was in the process of getting it out of the negative, they charged me another overdraft fee, and I was like, man, that sucks. But I'm not complaining outside of that, because I actually love the bank I bank with, you know. I like the bank I bank with kind of thing. Right now, I am $52.14 in the negative. And I just transferred eight dollars. And tomorrow, when I get the rest of my Patreon money, I'll be able to take all of that, and it'll be able to get at least my account will be out of the negative, so that when I get the money I use for rent only, you know, it'll it won't it won't be in the negative then, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yep, I have $54.36 left to process for Patreon money, and I'm not going to be able to withdraw that till tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Um, if I'm $52 in the negative, then, like, when I transfer that $54.36, I'll be out of the negative, and I won't have to worry about... You know, so that's at least a relief. I, I barely have enough money to cover rent. Ah, the joys of being a starving artist. Eh. If you want to donate, that's cool. If you can't, that's cool too, you know. No pressure, man. I appreciate you watching. However, I do have a food to try on camera. I specifically... Because I was hungry and I wanted something to eat. I ordered something to try on YouTube. So, like, if you're going to order some food from DoorDash, at the very least, you could do a video and try it on camera kind of thing. Uh, I noticed that my Patreon subscribers have gone down. That's really a crying shame, to be honest. And really, that's your loss, you know? I'll be able to at least pay rent this month. But I got a friend with a birthday coming up. And I was hoping to have, have at least 40 bucks. 45 to like $57. I was hoping to have $57 to order them a nice birthday present. You know? I wanted to buy them one of my awesome t-shirts from my customized girl. And the reason why my account goes in the negative is because I ordered DoorDash for me and my, my closest friends. You know, they feed me, I feed them. That's how that works kind of thing, you know. Like I said, y'all don't have to donate. It's the weekend. I got a little food review for you here coming up. Uh, spoiler alert, it's just Pop-Tarts. Um, like, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't mind my account going in the negative when I order food. That's just human nature. Even if, like, I don't do a review on it, I got to eat, man. You know? I ran out of... I ran out of toilet paper this morning, so that's kind of an immediate need, you know? I don't want to be wiping my ass with napkins and then throwing them in the trash because you can't flush napkins down the toilet kind of thing, you know? That's kind of, eh. That's kind of redneck, dude. I'm just saying. I wouldn't say ghetto because that's kind of racist, so I want to say redneck. I think we've all been there, done that, brought the t-shirt, you know? So, like, I did DoorDash me. Two Coca Colas. Ah, uh, who could this be? I wonder. One second. The dude got the wrong apartment. That's all right. I was just like, do I know you? <laughs> Knowing me, I thought it was going to be one of my trolls fucking with me again. Like, oh, geez. Like, Cobra is uh, straight for the of-age ladies, but you know how that goes down. Like, oh, I thought this was, you know, it's like, no, it's... And it happens, dude. I get that. You know, no worries. It is what it is. But King Boggy B, thank you for joining the Chill Cobra's Patreon for $6.66. I got like $57 coming from Patreon. And if my account is $52 in the negative... Like, I've been doing that all fucking day. Every little tiny amount of cash that I make in PayPal or Cash App, I give them shout-outs, and I put it back into my bank account. Ah, I'm a popular guy today, I guess. Hold up. You. All right. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I must have the wrong fucking apartment. Uh, that's twice that's fucking happened. I'm like, dude, I don't know these fucking people showing up to my fucking apartment. You know, my trolls were digging themselves into a fucking grave they can't dig themselves out of. And eventually it's going to catch up to them. Uh, I had this box of Pop-Tarts in the freezer all goddamn day. So these are uh, lemon cream pie flavored Pop-Tarts. You believe that? I'm not sure how these are going to taste, but... Hmm. Ooh. I'm definitely going to brush my teeth more because sometimes eating sweets... My teeth don't hurt, surprisingly, but that's regardless. Mm. I don't know what the fuck those dudes are here for. Like, I'm straight, so if they're here from fucking grinder, then fuck my trolls, honestly. Oh, look, the Boglum's doing a Pop-Tart review. There you go. There's an idea for a King Cobra YouTube poop video. The Boglum tries pop tards. Uh, look at the dumb autistic. Uh, I like pop tards. <laughs> uh? I'm joking, of course. Get out of here, fly. I will say this. Thank you to the apartment complex I live in for installing screens into my windows that needed it because the fly, the, fly the fly problem is no bueno. You know, it's non existent. My trolls basically pretended to be my neighbors at my old apartment 
and they submitted false false neighbor complaints. My neighbors at my old apartment never had a problem with me. Hopefully none of my neighbors at my new apartment have a problem with me. If they do, I apologize, man. I'm not trying to cause trouble for anyone. I pretty much keep to myself. If I see my neighbors outside and I'm smoking a cigarette and they're walking their dog, I'm like, yo, sweet dog, man. Can I pet him? Oh, is that doggy? Who is that doggy? I know, Cobra said he's straight, but let's sign him up for the opposite grinder and have a bunch of gay dudes show up to his apartment. It'll be fucking hilarious. And it's like, when they recognize my face, they know who the fuck I am. They're like, that's King Cobra. He fights for gay rights, but he's straight. Heterosexual male. Huh. Like, congratulations, you have no fucking life. And what's sadder than that is my YouTube trolls couldn't handle me having an of-age, alive, cisgendered, non-related, consenting girlfriend. And I didn't care if she was older than me. I didn't care if she had short hair. She made me happy to a point, you know, like anyone would. And uh, I did the best I could to treat her right and not do anything fucked up or stupid. And the trolls literally harassed my last girlfriend to the point where they where she's like you know what josh you're a sweet guy but i can't take dating a youtube celebrity and i'm like well that's your loss not mine whatever you know i don't let that stop me from talking to women to be honest so and the only reason the trolls do that crap is because they're secretly gay and they have a harder time getting laid than cobra does Man, and I want to just come right out and say it. Kids are more precious than life itself. I fucking hate sickos, dude. You got to check out Tactical Soap. Link, description box below. And with coupon code King Cobra, I'm using my affiliate link. That helps me make some money and it helps you save some money. Okay, don't waste your money on Dr. Squatch which I call Dr. Squat because Dr. Squatch, dude, and fuck pedophiles, dude. Fuck sickos in general, like, don't even get me started on that. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole because I'm so grossed out by sickos, you know? It's the combination of not having sex for almost five years. Every chick I like tells me no, and I fucking hate sickos. It's enough to make me want to lose interest in sex and dating, to be honest. To a point. Then when you see a cute chick at the bar, you're just like, Hey! Hey! You like Harry Potter? Can I slither into your DMs? You want to see my basilisk? People are sitting there going, you need to get laid. And it's like, dude, sex is not a need. It's a want. And it's like, you think having Asperger's has enough bad PR? It gets worse. Now we can't even call it Asperger's because the scientist who discovered it was a German Nazi. And I'm like, seriously? You don't have to donate money to my channel, but if you do, it's greatly appreciated. You know? And on top of that, my old apartment was so disgustingly filthy that I can't believe I let anyone film my old apartment like that. And I hate myself for it, but it is what it is. The fact that people are still willing to watch my crappy videos, even though I'm not very entertaining. Me and Alex pretty much drank all the vodka that he brought over. And we're sitting here watching music videos. And I freaking passed out in my chair. And Alex took off after I fell asleep from drinking a little too much. 
And, uh, you know, it is what it is. I appreciated him not trying anything. You know? I don't judge Alexander Campbell for being trans or bisexual, gay, whatever the fuck, as long as he ain't a sicko. I, I, as long, look, I've been saying, YouTube, as long as you ain't a sicko, who gives a shit? You know? Consent is everything, so, like, fuck sickos. Okay? Fuck necrophiliacs, fuck pedophiles, fuck neophiles, fuck bestiality acts, fuck incest, and fuck rape. And fuck rape, that's the forbidden six. Do you know how much crap I get for just because I'm friends with Alex Campbell? It's like, welcome to being a celebrity, dude. To be honest with you. To be fair, I, I deserve to get made fun of for crying on 9-11 last year. Because in the past, I've done 9-11 videos where it's like I talk about my dream house and how I want to build it. At the same time, talking about, you know, other things. And it feels tactless and disrespectful to their memory. So... Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Getting bullied and picked on by everyone in school, including the girl I had a major crush on. Eh. Now the joke's on Dilly Perucci, because it's like, I got 41,000 subscribers. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I even had the Alicia Rohde walking by me at one point. I didn't recognize her at first because there's, there's a lot of chicks that exist exist around the world that look very similar to her. And like she walked by me with her boyfriend at the time and I pretty much ignored her because it's like you see a chick with a dude, you pretty much ignore it. It's the same with that cute goth chick I saw at Loaf and Jug the other day. This chick was cute, too, and she was with her boyfriend, and I stopped to hold the door for both of them just to be polite, you know? I don't give a fuck how big your boyfriend is, honey. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. You can't legally hit me because I'm autistic. I don't go out of my way to cause trouble, but if trouble comes my way, I'll be the last motherfucker you'll ever fuck with. I don't have any grudges towards Alicia Rohde or anyone from Valley City for that matter. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, when Alicia Rohde was like, Oh, hey, that's Saunders. I feel bad about rejecting him in high school. It kind of feels like you're only saying that because I'm more famous than you are on social media. And you realize that my trolls are creepier than I am. Alicia Rohde doesn't have to fuck me or date me. It's the simple fact of, oh, that's Saunders. I wish I wouldn't have rejected him in high school. Junior Jaime would be shitting himself going, Ugh. There's been a couple times I thought I've seen her in town. And like a double take for a minute. I'm like, no, that can't be her. Then when some asshole from Wyoming was stalking her Instagram because he's got muscles and a fucking lots of money, she didn't have a problem with him stalking her. I'll admit it, dude. Like, getting rejected by chicks like Alicia Rohde growing up, it sucked. Getting rejected by chicks like Daily Perucci and Alicia Rohde. I have good taste in attractive women, so that's... My downfall, I guess, and I'm girl crazy, but that's beside the point. <laughs> and it's like, I don't give a fuck if Alicia Rohde's got a boyfriend or not. She's doing her thing and I'm doing my thing. You know, that's the whole point. Like, part of being a ladies' man is knowing when to back off and play it cool. I don't care if it's Ellen, Alicia Rohde, whoever. You know what I'm saying? I pretty much, you know, just doing my thing.
Honestly, that's the only. Not trying to be a dick, but it's the truth. That's the only reason my trolls harass Alan is because. Oh, hey, Josh knows some really cute babes. I wish I knew cute girls kind of thing. And I'm like, you could make friends with of age women if you spent less time harassing King Cobra. It's the truth. My trolls are sitting there going, you need to get laid. And it's like, I can tell my trolls are not getting laid. I can tell my trolls are not getting laid because they spend all day trying to fuck with King Cobra. And all it does is get people to make make comments like, you know what? I feel sorry for Cobra because his trolls are assholes. And I, I dig his videos. He's humble about his YouTube fame. And he doesn't let the trolls get to him. Well, to be fair, there are some people who are into fat women and... As long as they're of age, alive, and consenting, who gives a shit? If they're non-related, of age, alive, and consenting, outside of that, who gives a shit? All the trolls being like, you need to get laid, Cobra. And I'm like, you know what? I'd rather build my clock tower dream house before it end my dry spell, to be honest. Building my clock towered mansion and being rich enough to comfortably maintain it for the rest of my life is more important than getting laid. I would have solar panels, energy saving solar panels on my clock towered mansion on the roof on either side of the clock tower, which would make it eco-friendly. And then my clock towered mansion would run off of wind energy and solar energy. And all the plumbing in my house would be eco-friendly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 People are like, hey, dude, Alicia Rohde wants to join your cult. And I'm like, I'll believe that when pigs fly. <laughs> I know, like, watching. <coughs> Excuse me. Watching. <coughs> Oh, goddamn cough to get off. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Quit bitching about your fucking dry spell because it could be worse. Especially when you're King Cobra JFS and you have a lot of fangirls that want to. Yeah, okay, I'll just stop right there. <laughs> Doc Holiday and Tombstone versus King Cobra's trolls. I'd be Doc Holiday and my trolls would be Ike. Maybe poker's just not your game, Ike. I know. Let's have a spelling contest. <coughs> 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 Ha <laughs> ha